Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Unboxing Stuff. Today we're going to be taking a look at a wireless microphone setup from Great Video Maker. This is their KKX. It has two transmitters and one receiver so you could have dual audio inputs for recording audio and uh, video. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box and we'll take a look and see how it works. All right, so here's the package that comes in. It's pretty small. Go ahead and open the box. And as you can see, everything kind of comes in a small little carrying case, keep everything together. And we have our user manual here. Keep in mind, I did go through and actually remove the plastic to make this a little quicker. In this first pouch, we have a wireless transmitter, a little dead cat in case you have some wind, another wireless transmitter, and a wireless receiver. And looks like we have a second dead cat for the other transmitter. Then our second pouch here, we have a lapel mic, a second lapel mic, a camera cable to plug the receiver into a camera, a phone cable in case you're going to be recording your phone, which is great if you want to do like an interview or something kind of on the spot or maybe you're using your phone as your primary recording device. And that's the last thing out of the bag is we have this charger. And I actually think this is probably one of the cooler things about this whole thing right here. One of my favorite things so far is they have this kind of octopus style charger that has three outputs on it. So you can charge the, both transmitters and the receiver all at the same time. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look at the receiver here. If we look at the top here, we have an audio output port for headphone monitoring. Over here on the side, we have another output, and this is for the recording. Over here, we have a USB-C charging port. And if we flip it over here, you can see we have a power button, an audio volume up and volume down button. And on the back we have a clip, which you can use to actually slide on to a camera up on the hot shoe. Slide it right in. And then you can actually use the cable provided to plug into the audio out. And plug it in down here at the bottom into the microphone input. And mind you, this is going to vary a little bit from camera to camera, but that's essentially how you would mount it to the camera. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the transmitter module. And on top here, we have an audio input port, which is where you take your lapel mic or other external microphone and plug it right in like that. We also have our dead cat, which we place on and just give a small turn. You can just feel it kind of click into place. So it's as simple as that. And then just a small rotation and it pops right back off. Going over to this side, we have our USB-C charging port. And flip to the other side, we have our power. We have our mute button, in case you'd like to mute a microphone. And then we also have our pairing button. And on the back, we do have another clip, so you can clip it on to whoever you're gonna be recording audio from. And we also have a status indicator up here on the top. And the, all three units actually have that same feature. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys how to get everything all started up and running. So you're just gonna go ahead and press and hold the power button for two seconds. And the light's gonna come on and it's gonna start flashing. Then you're gonna go ahead and take the transmitter, press and hold the power button. As soon as the blue light comes on, let go, starts flashing. And then it's gonna go solid once it's paired. We're gonna do the same thing on the second transmitter. Flashing, solid, there you go. So now both transmitters are paired. So when you press the mute button, you'll see the light goes off and then it'll flash every 
couple seconds, a blue light to let you know that it's still on, but it's actually muted. Unmute it, it goes back to a solid light. Now, this is a proper working condition. If for some reason you do have any problems and it's not pairing them correctly or you have interference, you can actually go to the instructions here and they give instructions on how to pair the microphone to the receiver. So at this point, let's go ahead and get this set up on the camera and we're gonna go ahead and start doing some audio tests and see how everything sounds. Okay, so for our first test here, I'm gonna go ahead and mute a microphone, if you can hear me now. And I'm gonna take the other microphone and I'm gonna place it. So right now it's at about lapel position. Test one, two, three. One, two, three. I'm gonna take this one that is muted. I'm gonna mute the other one. Okay, and I unmuted this mic up in the lapel position. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. And I'm gonna go ahead and mute it again. And unmute it again. And that seems to be working. So let's go ahead and test now with the lapel mic, see how that sounds plugged into here. Okay. Testing one, two, three. Here I am on the lapel mic in approximate lapel position. One, two, three, three, two, one. Testing one, two, three. And I'm gonna go ahead and mute again. And unmute it again. And the mute function seems to be working just fine. So now let's go ahead and I'm gonna reposition the camera and sit in front of it and do some talking and then move the camera across the room and see how that does. Okay, so here's a test with the transmitter. Camera's about six feet away. And this is just me holding it mid-level and down lower. And I'm gonna go ahead and mute this microphone and turn on the other microphone and use the lavalier mic. All right, so here we are, about 12 feet away from the camera. Uh, this is my Osmo Action, which is why the lens is a little bit wider. But uh, test one, two, three, and I'm gonna go ahead and lower it down. Testing one, two, three, this is what it sounds like. Okay, so I've run into an issue, um, and I would say that this issue is actually camera specific uh, and not uh, any problem with the, the transmitter. So basically, for some reason, when I record through uh, my Osmo action camera, uh, the left seems to be the dominant mic. So if I mute the right, it should still work. Um, and if I unmute it, then no change. But if I mute the left, okay, so it's not working. That's what I said there. Um, but I was thinking, man, maybe something's wrong with this uh, system, but it's not. So I actually have a little audio recorder here and I plugged it into there and I can actually see uh, left and right audio displays. And so uh, basically with this hooked up, with the receiver hooked up, plugged into here, uh, I can actually see the one of them is left audio and one of them is right audio. So it splits the audio, uh, so it's not a single path with both microphones. Um, so I can see that they're both working here and I actually did test recordings on here and everything works fine. But for some reason when I'm plugging into the camera here, uh, I notice that, hey, when I turn off my left microphone, I lose audio. So it must be something with the way that that uh, adapter is built, because that's not direct plug-in uh, like the Canon camera is. So anyways, with that in mind, I would say you definitely just want to test your audio and verify that it's actually functioning the way you think it should uh, if you're going to be running this on your system. This one, this caused me a little bit of 
trouble going back and forth to trying to figure out, okay, is it the equipment that's messed up? Is it the setup that's just not working right? Or is it something else? So that is a uh, valuable piece of information, but basically just keep that in mind when you get the stuff, test it out, make sure it's gonna work on your system. And then if you have any problems, then I'm sure you could probably send it back if you had to. So anyways, with that, let's go ahead and move on to our closing um, where I'm gonna talk a little bit about how it was really user error because I didn't actually verify that it was working properly. But anyways, let's go ahead and go to that. Let's just go ahead and cover the last portion of this video, which is, you know, what do I think about it at this point? I've used it a little bit, tested it out. Uh, what do I think? Well, I think for the price, having two wireless transmitters is pretty nice, depending on how you want to uh, do your videos. It gives you a little bit more flexibility, uh, especially if you're gonna be interviewing other people or maybe you wanna get sound from two different locations. Uh, I think it's pretty good. At the price point you know, that you pay for this, you know, I feel like I got a single wireless road uh, transmitter and a receiver, so, you get two for a pretty good deal. Um, it's very compact and it comes with everything you need to, to do many different types of uh, filming, which is a bonus. Um, and it, it, it works. But the downside for me is that uh, I noticed that on the recording there is a little bit of white noise, which isn't the end of the world depending on, you know, the type of recordings or what kind of quality you need, you know, that may or may not matter at all. And I left all of this as original raw audio. That way you can hear it as it came out of the camera um, through the system here. So there is no editing on this, it is totally raw. Um, you could in editing and post-production go through and clean up that audio and probably get rid of uh, that little bit of white noise. but. Like I said, I did not because I wanted you to be able to see uh, how this sounds just absolutely raw straight out of the camera. So uh, that's a little bit of a negative. But other than that, it does seem like a pretty good value for the money. So I definitely think that if, if this is in your price range and actually fits your specific needs, uh, this might be the way to go. Uh, there are definitely different options out there. You can get something that's more expensive. Uh, that will perform better most likely or something that maybe isn't wireless that possibly could perform better as well. So you just have to kind of weigh out what it is that you're really looking for. If the wireless is very important uh, and dual uh, ability, dual capability is very important, then this is definitely something worth checking out. And I think that uh, especially for a, uh, a beginner or somebody who's looking to get into something like this without going all in on budget and spending a bunch of money but requires the uh, flexibility of the wireless uh, this is definitely an absolute absolute adequate option so um, i'll leave a link down below where you guys can go check out the gvm kkx wireless system uh, where this particular one has two wireless transmitters and one wireless receiver they also have another version with just one transmitter, one receiver, if you want to cut back even more on cost. So there's plenty of options out there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this review. I definitely wanted to make sure that I was doing my best to uh, keep everything above board and be honest with you guys. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.